Hi, and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY and Decor. My name's Ashley, and today I am so excited to share my first Christmas decorate with me as I decorate my front porch. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I just moved into a house literally this week, but I was so excited to decorate this front porch, and once you see it, I think you'll know why. And I had so much fun decorating, and I am absolutely in love with how it came out. First, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that little notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video, and hit the drop down menu and click all so you're notified about all notifications. I have a variety of different DIY videos and decorate with me videos that I know you'll love. Before we get started, I do want to mention the sponsor of this video, All Knee. I think I'm pronouncing that right. But these are icicle lights, and look how beautiful they are. There are 11 different settings, and as you can see, I'm kind of pushing all of the different buttons. You can make them brighter, you can make them dimmer, you can go make them go really fast, you can make them go really slow. You can have the warm white lights, you can have the pastel lights. I absolutely fell in love with these when I saw them on their website after they reached out to me and I definitely wanted to try them. In my opinion, I think the best part about these lights is that they are on a timer. So you can either set it for six hours or eight hours. You just set it on the first night and then they will turn off after either six or eight hours and then turn back on the next night. So it is work free basically. So it, they are so easy to use. You can attach up to three strands on one and in a little bit we'll show you how to switch out the strands but it is super easy. So in the package it does include the strand of lights, the remote, a backup lithium battery and here is the package and I'm telling you these were so easy to hang. I'm going to have the link to their website in my description box below along with a discount code that you are free to use. In fact I might even use my own discount code and order another strand so we can go ahead and continue this look across our garage. So like I said, these were extremely easy to hang. We just used these little things. I don't know what they're called. I'm just going to call them U brackets, but he just hammered them in the um, top of the porch and that was it. Now the previous owners did have some hooks, so it was super easy for us because we just used the hooks that we that were there already. But for the parts that didn't have hooks, this is what we did. Now I'm really sorry that the camera is so shaky. My job was to hold the strand or the other end of the strand of lights so they didn't tangle and so it was hard for me to hold the lights and the camera study so I apologize but it was super easy now to attach one strand to the other on one of on one of the ends they have this little cap so you just unscrew it and then there's gonna be two little holes on the inside then on your other strand there's going to be plugs so all you're gonna do is connect it you're gonna plug one into the other and then you're gonna take that black piece and you're gonna twist it over what you just connected. That way it serves as a protector and it keeps it from moving or becoming disconnected. So like I said, these are so easy to use. If you're looking for some festive and fun Christmas lights this year, don't forget to check out Olney in my description box below. And thank you so much to them for sending me these lights and sponsoring today's video. All right, so now that we have the Christmas lights hung and lit, it is time to decorate the rest of the front porch. So I'm just kind of walking you down the very long front porch. This is honestly the first time I've ever had a front porch to decorate. So I've been, you know, stalking Pinterest with for tons and tons and tons of ideas. And what I came up with was five different sections of my porch. And yes, that is how big my porch is. So I'm gonna do five little vignettes. So it's gonna be this porch swing area right here. And then that those rocking chairs or the sitting area that we just passed, the front door. Then there's another section in between two windows and then at the end. So 
that was just the easiest way for me to kind of design this and figure out what it is I wanted to do. Then I also have two flower boxes hanging off the railing here. So I am actually going to go ahead and decorate inside those as well. So there you go. Now you see the other end of the porch. And if you want to see a full home tour, I did upload one uh, couple videos back. So be sure to check that out. All right, so there you see one of my flower boxes that I will be decorating. And then that wagon, which I'll be talking about in just a little bit. And now we're coming up to the entrance or the front door. And I'm just going to kind of give you an overview of the stuff that we will be using. So I do have that sleigh there, or that sled. And that was actually my mom's. And then we had... I have my Kirkland's dupe easel that was in the last video. I can have that video linked down below so you can check out how I created that. And then, of course, my little audience. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is change out the doormat, of course. So I'm going to take out that, that welcome mat that actually came with the house. The previous owners left it. And I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum all this up. Now, I know I could just sweep it or, like, with a broom but honestly this is what I had next to me so this is what I wanted to use so I'm just gonna go ahead and sweep up the mess and I mean hey it's outdoors so I'm not gonna get too crazy because it's just gonna get all messy again but you know it is what it is and we do get all the elements here in Ohio <laughs> so I'm not gonna be too picky all right so after I cleaned up most of it I'm going to go ahead and put my believe in the magic of Christmas doormat back up and this I just got out of storage and was so happy to see I kind of forgot about it so I was so excited okay so now we're going to talk about the wagon so this radio flyer wagon actually came from Facebook marketplace in fact a lot of the items you'll see here on the porch did come from Facebook marketplace so I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up because it was kind of messy and dirty, but I did like the rustic dirty look. It just kind of had some like pine needles or something in it. I don't know what the previous owner had kept in it, but it, it just had a lot of stuff in it. So I just went ahead and swept that up and now I'm going to put the sides on to put the wagon together. So, like I said, a lot of my pieces did come from Facebook Marketplace, including this set of three trees. I actually bought these about two, three years ago for my daughter's second birthday party. We did a fairy birthday party, and it was like Woodland Fairy. So, these were perfect, but I use them every season for Christmas and winter, and I saw this idea of putting trees in a wagon on Pinterest and I knew I had to do it in fact that's the only reason why I bought this wagon so I'm just arranging these trees inside the wagon and for some reason this took me forever to try to arrange them how I like so you're gonna see me fiddle with it for just you know just a little bit but eventually I do have the trees looking how I like so now I'm just going to go ahead and fix them a little bit. These were in storage for a year, so they are kind of messed up. <laughs> so I'm just kind of fixing the branches. Real quick, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thank you so much for choosing to stop by today. I really hope you love what you see and... Hey, stick around with me for a while by hitting that subscribe button. If you're returning, you already know I love you, I appreciate you, and I cannot wait to share even more festive and fun content coming up on my channel. Okay, so once I have the trees pretty much how I like, I'm going to go ahead and add this e easel. And like I said, this was in my Kirkland's dupe video and I will have that linked below. Now again, I was just kind of fiddling with the position of the trees and the easel, so uh, you are gonna see me kind of move stuff around, but that's just how I decorate. I, I kind of have a slight vision in my head, but the logistics of it, I just have to just, it's trial and error, just t test things, move things around. So like I said, you're gonna see me kind of, you know, play with this for just a little bit. Thank you. 
Okay, so as I was doing this, I actually decided to move this entire display to the other end, although this is kind of funny because I end up moving it back to the front porch. But I had to show you this because I did end up add adding some firewood. So in my backyard, they had just cut down a ton of trees. <laughs> so we got left with all of this firewood. So we have a huge backyard. So it's not like it takes up our entire backyard. I should have taken a video though of all the firewood. But hey, it comes in handy for decorating. So I just thought I would add a few pieces of firewood. And I literally went just right in my backyard backyard and just picked a few so I'm just arranging them in my little wagon here and I don't know just kind of playing with it and I really loved the woodsy touch that this added I really loved my theme this year for my front porch So finally, after I had my display looking how I loved, I am going to add these lights. And this was an afterthought, or else, of course, I would have put these lights down first. But I just thought it would be so neat if we lit up the bottom of the wagon. So I'm just taking a regular strand of Christmas lights, and I'm just kind of weaving them underneath the wood. And I absolutely loved how this little display came out. Now, like I said, I do end up moving this to the front door again, but you'll see that in the final reveal. But let me know down in the comments what you think about my first little vignette on my Christmas front porch. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move back to the front porch, and I'm going to put the the flyer sled <laughs> sled on one side, and then I realized my, my poor wreath, it got all wonky. So I am going to go ahead and take that wreath off and replace it with one that I actually usually put in my kitchen. I made up a bunch of these little wreaths to hang on my cabinets, so you're probably going to see them in my kitchen decorate with me. But this is just what I had handy. I might switch it out for a bigger wreath. I'm not sure. But honestly, I think that it looks really good. But I really wanted to put greenery there because I wanted to continue the greenery all throughout the porch. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this wreath to the top of the sled and then to the bottom of this little vignette I'm going to add these lanterns and you can see that I'm putting the one lantern on a little red stool that I picked up a long time ago and then I'm just going to place the other one on the floor now this one kind of just looked I don't know it kind of looked bare to me so I actually ended up adding some of these log pieces and again I actually bought these log pieces for my daughter's fairy party so a lot of these decorations are coming in handy but I added these to the lanterns right underneath and then I'm going to add some pine cones all around it now off camera I did add some greenery to this to around the lanterns as well but I just honestly just slipped my mind to record <laughs> now speaking of not recording I did not realize I was recording when I put this welcome sign and this little bucket and how perfect is that bucket I got it from Target and that welcome sign came from five below and it is reversible it says Mary on the back and I'm just throwing a throw from five below in the bucket and then those two trees did come from the Target dollar spot then I'm gonna put a little green lantern there and I was kind of playing around with this area too that green lantern came from the Dollar Tree I took another log because I just felt like it needed some height so I'm gonna add that to the bottom and you can see I stole the stool from the other side but I'm gonna replace it and now I'm just gonna add some pine cones and berries to this other side of the log
Okay, moving on to this little seating area. So this I kind of changed up quite a bit, but I did want to include some pillows and blankets, of course, but <laughs> none of this stuff that you see is actually going to stay. But I'm going to show you my process. So first I did put that Farm Fresh pillow, and I got those pillows from Walmart, and they actually are outdoor pillows. Then this little blanket is actually a pet blanket from Five Below, so I'm just going to go ahead and drape that over this little rocking chair that actually was mine when I was little and now it's my daughter's and then I'm kind of switching out the placemats but you're gonna see I do switch that in just a little bit I have another one of those green lanterns that came from the Dollar Tree and then I really wasn't liking the pillow because it was too small for that chair the chair by the way came from marketplace so I'm gonna use this pillow cover that I actually bought last year and I kind of forgot about it because it's been in storage and I'm just gonna stuff it and this I thought was perfect for this chair I do wish that my pillow was a little fluffier but that's okay I think it's great so I am gonna go ahead and throw that pillow on there and it is again following the theme of the farm fresh Christmas trees then I'm gonna switch out the table setting here I'm going to add this little tray that I got from the Target dollar spot a couple months ago that deer also came from the dollar spot the lantern I mentioned came from the Dollar Tree and then we have pine cones I do end up taking out that placemat because it just kind of looked weird all right now I have this little green flow throw of course coming from Target dollar spot again there's a lot of Target on my front porch that and Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> and I'm just going to add that to the big rocking chair because I did feel like that needed a blanket as well. Now I am going to try to find like a little fun pillow to throw on my daughter's chair. I just don't have one for now, but I really love how this section came out too. Let me know what you think. Then to complete this, I added this Merry Christmas sign also from Target. All right, let's decorate this swing. So I saw this idea on another YouTube channel and it's all over Pinterest. So I'm taking some garland. Of course, I'm sorry, I cut off the top of this, but I'm just looping it through that very top rung and then I'm just simply wrapping it all the way down my chains. So I'm just going to wrap and wrap and wrap and wrap until I come down where the two chains separate. And this is just that skinny garland from Dollar Tree and it was perfect for this project. So when I got to where the two chains split, I just went ahead and wrapped each one individually with each with one of the ends of the strands. And then I went ahead and repeated this on the other side.
I love this little touch of greenery around the ugly chains. Now I am planning on painting that bench, or I'm sorry, that swing white. I did get that from Facebook Marketplace, but I thought it was perfect. Now this is where I'm actually going to add those two farm fresh Christmas tree pillows from Walmart, but I am going to add this throw from Five Below, and I'm just going to stick that right in the middle, and I thought that this was the perfect touch of red. I love this swing. I think it's so fun and so cozy. And then I'm going to actually finish this area off with a sweater type pillow from Target Dollar Spot. <laughs> This is your friendly reminder that if you're loving what you see so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it really help my channel to grow, but it tells YouTube you love what you see and you want to see more. So smash that like button. Let me know what you think about my porch swing. Now moving to the front, I have these trees that are in pedestals, and I do start off putting them in the front, but you're going to see that I actually move them to the other end, the other entrance of the porch, but I just wanted to show you these up close. All right, now let's work on those flower boxes. So these are those little sad trees from the Dollar Tree. And basically, I'm just laying them on their sides because we're going to create like a bed of garland or greenery, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and stick those outwards. And they are hanging over just a little bit. And then to fill it in, I'm going to use another one of those skinny garlands from the Dollar Tree. And this is just to cover the inside so it makes it look nice and full. Then I actually picked up three different picks from Target Dollar Spot and I got two of each because I have two flower boxes. So I'm just going to pick them apart. So the first pick I have is this flocked greenery pick. And you can see I'm just pulling them off the stem and then I'm just going to arrange them. The second pick are these like, I don't know, is it pine needles I think? And they have pine cones. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Pine, pine cones. <laughs> and then this other really sparkly berry pick too. Then this set of big pine cones came from Hobby Lobby and they were $9.99 but I got them for 50% off and it's a it's a set of three and you can't really see but they do have glitter. So I'm just going to go ahead and break them down a little bit. These were going to be originally for my Christmas tree but I kind of changed my mind so I thought that these would be perfect here. So I am going to go ahead and lay those out in my bed, my flower bed, and just kind of arrange it so you can't see the sticks. And then to complete this, I'm, oh, nope, I'm sorry, I forgot I was going to add pine, little pine cones around as well to fill in any empty spots. Now to complete this, I'm going to add some Christmas bulbs. So I'm just going to stick with red, green, and gold. Now, eventually I would like to add a big bow in front. I just didn't have any at the time, and I really didn't feel like packing up my daughter and heading to the store. So you're going to have to catch my home tour at the end of the month. So then after I was done with this flower box, I went ahead and repeat, repeated the same thing in the second flower box. I love how this came out. I just think it's so cute. Now I'm going to show you the front view. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of weird. <laughs> Then to finish off this whole front porch makeover, I'm going to add this wonderful door hanger that our realtor actually gave me when we got the keys to this house. And how perfect did it fit in? All right, now it's time for the final reveal. What do you think? Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 oh. Can I cry?
Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da da oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Good times with you. 
I am so in love with how this front porch came out. I think for my first go at decorating this challenging front porch, I think it actually turned out really cool. It exactly how I wanted it, just the rustic, the naturals, the greenery, and just festive as well. And I really do think that this screams Christmas. You're gonna have to let me know down in the comments what you think about this rustic front porch. Do you have a front porch that you decorate? Like I mentioned earlier, this is the first time ever I've had a front porch. Like at the old house, we used to just lean that sled up against the door and call it a day because that's all I had. So uh, to go from that to this, it was it was a lot of fun researching and just, you know, going through Pinterest, looking for ideas, watching other YouTubers and creators and seeing what they do. So I absolutely love what they all had come up with. So I took some ideas from everywhere and just inspiration. And I really love how this all came together. And look how beautiful it is light lit up at night. And hey, what about those Christmas lights? Those are gorgeous. I love the setting we have on it. They go from the pastel to the warm and they blink not too slow, but not too fast. So I love it. Just kind of like a subtle change or transition. So I'm absolutely loving everything about this front porch. I want to thank Olni again for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget, I will have their website and my discount code in the description link below. So please be sure to check them out if you're looking for some fun and festive lights for the holidays or for any year, any time of year. They have fairy lights, they have other security lights. So they just, they are your go-to for any type of light fixture or light needs you are looking for. I hope that you got a lot of inspiration and ideas on how to decorate your front porch or outdoor areas for this upcoming Christmas season. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment down below, and hey, share it with some friends that might need a little inspiration too. Thank you so much, and until I see you again, I will decorate with you soon. Bye!